Yo, what up my Shadow Army? So this is Shadow Critias back again with another MHA What If video. So this is part 13 of What If Shadow Critias was in My Hero Academia. Before I continue on, go I go check out my last previous part before you guys come over here because this story would not make any sense to you. So yeah. Okay. The reason why I want to do this part because the rest of the episode of season five would just be focused on my villain. So pretty much this is gonna be the the rest of the um, the rest of season five that I just about my OC because I guess before um the rest of the episodes will be just my villain academia episodes so pretty much I will not go in depth to it so yeah so pretty much uh the little bit of recap um the new year um they have their Christmas and. It was, oh wait, the last recap was Jiro's birthday, Kiyoshima's, Tokoyami, the Christmas, and the New Year, all that stuff. So, yeah, after the New Year, is everyone going to their hero work study? And Ginzo go, still goes with Hawk's uh, hero work study, Sanjay's Endeavor. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, yeah, that's, a, that's another bit of recap. So, let's just go ahead and uh, finish off uh, the Season 5 of my OC. When Ginzo arrived at Hawk's agency, Hawks is actually actually out there was waiting for Ginzo and Hawk said, Hey yo, it's been a long time, has it a huh, kiddo? And Ginzo's like, It's good to see you too, Hawks. And and Ginz and Hawks actually is like happy to see him as well. So right immediately, Hawks actually tell Ginzo like, Yeah, the reason it's good to see you, you and Tokoyami again, but I I actually have something that I want need to do, but right now Tokyo has something you could do for me. And of course Tokyo does like how he does in the original because in the original, Tokyo did it with didn't go with uh Hawks when Hawks came across Endeavor, Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku. So yeah. So to De uh Tokiyami does like the paperwork or some shit. So in this one, Genzo actually goes with Hawks and so yeah, they both actually do, you know, came across Endeavor, Bakugo, Todoroki, and Deku to help. And, and of course, that goes out the same where Hawks just being Hawks. And Ginzo sees both the boys, the homies, and Deku as, hey, yo, what's Tokiyami? Like, and Hawks tells Deku, like, the same line just like the original. And, of course, Hawks pulls out the books to give to Hawks to pull out. You know, you know how he analyzes and highlights about what the villains are actually planning. So, Endeavor gets that. And now he is the only gets that. He actually gave one for Ginzo because I feel like Gin I feel like Hawks would trust Ginzo. So, he would give the similar thing. So, so I feel like Ginzo would be trustworthy. And get him involved of this. And of course Genzo. I mean Midoriya, Bakugo, and Todoroki. They get the similar book that is not highlighted. So yeah. And after they go on their separate ways. Genzo actually start reading the book. And see everything is some of the, some of the lines has been highlighted. So he's trying to put other pieces together. He, he is so confused. He doesn't know why he highlighted these. So when they got back to agency, Genzo w been working on it and writing all the things has been highlighting and try to put all the pieces together. So he writes it down and he reads what the leagues of villain actually up to, and his eyes is widening and he jumped out of his seat and goes straight to Hawk's office and he goes to his office and said, "Hawk's, are you fucking serious?" And Hawk says, "So you actually figured it out." Yes! You... How... How did you know? Like... Wait a minute. You knew? Why are you telling me all of this? Am I the only one who knew about this? We'll figure it out? And Hawk said, No. Your uncle is. He actually will figure it out right about now. So it's just me and Endeavor. Not my... My classmates. And Hawk said, Nope. Just you and him. The reason why I want you to figure it out but on your own because... I trust you. And since I trust you enough, since you're going to be my actual sidekick and also be my next successor 
to take over my agency one day if you change your mind but the reason why I trust you because you're the type of person who like to keep the secret you've been kept well keeping your secret of your past so I think it's fair that I should tell you about what I've been doing I had been assigned on a secret mission to spy on the League of Villains and get enough intel and information by pretend that I'm on their side and joining the League of Villains. And Gims are like, wait, who idea was this? The Prime Minister or some shit? And and Hobbs said, yep. She informed me about it so I blend in and so I can hide in to get to know about the leagues and what they're up to and what is their in games, etc. And when I was heard the League of Villains were attacked had a war with another villain which is the leader of the original leader of the Metal Liberation Army, which is Redestro, but Redestro has been killed by Shigaraki. And De Deku was like, no, not Deku, uh, Ginzo was like, huh, no surprise here because he did kill Overhaul actually, so it won't be the difference. But Redestro, why is that name so familiar? I thought the, Libera the Metal Liberation Army were wiped out or never been a thing or it never existed years ago and Hawk said true but sadly they've been hiding and waiting for the right moment to strike and De Ginzo be like it's because of All Might has been retired and then never became the number one hero that's the reason why and Hawk said bingo and I actually asked uh, ask her that that you could be part of this mission for until you go back to your school, are you up for that? Are you up for it? And Ginzo be like, so you want me to get involved of your mission to be pretending as a villain and be part of the League of Villains to get to know all the intel, all the weakness, everything about the League, so we can take them down. And Hawk said, "Yep." Not only that, you said you had a. A, a friend relationship with this girl named Himiko Toga, right? This might be your chance to get her on your side. Our side, actually. So that could be a lot better and be... will be interested and will be give us the advantage to get the League of Villains, one of them, on our side. And Genzo... Even Gizzo... Ah, I can't talk. Ginzo actually liked this idea, but at the same time, at the same time, Ginzo knows that Himiko will try to kill uh, Ginzo. I mean, Himiko will try to kill Ginzo if he, if she if she sees him again. I I can't talk. I don't know why. So Ginzo thinks about this and he accepts it. So yeah. So pretty much, Hawks and Ginzo go on a mission to what Hawks is doing and. Hawks informed the League of Villains that he just found a new recruit and is someone that you guys may know him. And they're just being confused like, wait, know him? What you mean? So pretty much this happened inside in the meeting room when Hawks had the spotlight where the League of Villains are in the shadows where they have the only his computer. So, and the leagues were like, wait, familiar faces? What you mean? This is from... The person who said it was a uh, compressor. So Hawk stepped aside out of the light. And the person walked out of the shadow into the light, and that is Ryu Ginzo. And both the League of Villains just got out of their seat, prepared to kick his ass. And Himiko is shot. Shugaraki is just caught off guard. And Shugaraki is like, Hawks, you let this little brat here? Why? And Hawk said, hold on, hold on, hear him out, he has something to say. And Sugar Rock is like, ugh, fine, make it, make it cow before I decay you, little shit. And Genzo be like, you still acting like over one for all, bitch. I guess my old man didn't teach you good enough, huh? You still jealous, aren't you? Should, I think I should be the one to be the boss around here and be the one deleting this League of Villain. Yeah, I admit it. 
My destiny is to be part of the League of Villains. My destiny was supposed to be the lead in this group. So, I finally learned my ways and decided to choose to join on this path. You guys were right. The heroes of society are broken and need to be wiped out. And I don't know what you guys are thinking. How can you trust me? You don't. I don't trust y'all and y'all don't trust me. And I don't trust Hogs and he doesn't trust me. We may be villains, but we have something in common. And we're not being on the same side. But at least we want to get this shit done. With my power and strength, we could take out the Hero Society like there's no question asked. And Sh Shigaraki actually agrees on this for the first time. He actually said it and he doesn't like that shit. So, so he accepts Genzo to join on his side, but they're not going to make Genzo as the boss. They only follow Shigaraki. So, Genzo actually understands. So, after that meeting, Toga actually goes to Genzo after they left the, the room. Genzo about to leave with Hawks, and Toga said, Genzo! And Genzo turns around and said, Oh, hey, Himiko. And Hawks like, Well, I might as well just go. I'll catch you in a minute. I said, Yeah, see ya. And Genzo's like, what do you want, Himiko? And Himiko asks, like, I need to know, what changed your mind to be part of this? And Genzo said, well, it's because of you. I want to stay by your side. At the same time, you're right. To be honest, I had feelings for you, Himiko. I, I was so blind and... I did miss you, Himiko. And we can't be together if the Hero Society are getting in our way. So, when it's all over, we can leave. We can start a new life together. You and I. And I can still help you with your power if you still need. Hell, I can help twice. I can, I can tell that he needs help with his core that he doesn't make copy of himself. I can help both of y'all if you let me. And Himiko be like, Oh, Ryu. I know I can trust you. And she hugs Genzo and Genzo hugs back and Genzo knows that he's gonna regret the words he just said. Oh, this is painful. Yeah, this is gonna suck. So, yeah, for over the past week or so, uh, they have been, you know, investigate and get the note intel for the league, etc. And Hawks does speak a word with Dobby, but while would that happen? Genzo has thought of this, and he's surprised he never thought of his way before. Back at the training camp, he when he been captured by Dobby, and he realized about his blue flame, and saw his blue eyes, why does it look so familiar to him? The blue flame in the blue eye. And he remembered the article that the death of Tori Todoroki and the forest was burning into fire of blue flame. And that blue flame is similar to Dobby. When he saw Dobby's blue eye for the first time, that blue eye is like similar to Shoto and Endeavor. So he put a two pieces together that, that his oldest cousin is alive and he's as a villain known as Dobby. He put all the pieces together that, yeah, his cousin is alive and he's a villain. And this dunstrucks him that his own oldest cousin is on the path of villainous. For what reason? And Hawks is on the phone with Dobby and Hawks asks Dobby that he wants to speak with Dobby. And Hawks is like, oh yeah, uh, uh, Dobby, I don't know you heard, we just got a new recruit. And you may know him, so he wants to have a word with you. And Dobby said, oh, let me hear it. So G Hawks gave the phone to Genzo, and Genzo talks with Dobby says, Hello, cousin. And Dobby's like, well, 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 Ryu Genzo. And why did you call me cousin? Don't play dumb with me, Dobby. Or should I say, Toya Todoroki? And Dobby is just caught off guard and it's like, so, 
You actually figured it out, huh? How did you figure it out? Your quirk is a dead giveaway, even your own eye color. I read the article when I found out that I have a cousin and uncle and auntie or between the Todoroki family. I read the article what happened to you when you died. You died, people believe you died and they show nothing left of your jaw, of your missing jaw. And the woods were burning in a fire of blue flames. That gave it a death giveaway. And not only that, your eye color was also a dead giveaway. It's so obvious. I'm surprised Endeavor and your brother never figured that out. But somehow I'm the only one who figured it out. Ain't that a bitch. And I want to know. I already know what you're planning. I think you want to expose Endeavor for all the things he has done to you and and your family all those years ago. Am I correct? If you actually are planning on doing it, I'm not stopping you. Now we're on the same side. I'm not stopping you of your plans. You can do what the hell you want. Endeavor is nothing more than a bunch of prick. But killing your own brother? No, I can't let that happen. Even though we're on the same side, even though we hate Endeavor, but that doesn't give you a right to go ahead and kill your own brother. Why made you want to kill your own brother? And Dobby explains that that Endeavor just cost him out of sight and he wants to be Endeavor's only successor, but Endeavor throws out of the way and now he's been focusing on Shoto than him and because Shoto is like the perfect uh, perfect child that Endeavor actually wants. So he wants to kill his perfect child so that Endeavor could suffer. So that's the reason why and Genzo actually understands that but at the same time he doesn't want Shoto to die. He can get Shoto to join their side and Dobby we like no he has to die. I don't care what either way said. So Endeavor and Dobby actually threatens him if Genzo trying to get his way to kill Shoto, Dobby will actually will kill him. So yeah, and Dobby said, Looks like my time is up. I have to go. It's good to speak to you, cousin. And he hangs on the phone and and Hogs will be like, what was that all about? And Genzo tells Do tell Hogs that, I'm surprised you haven't figured out who Dobby is. And Hogs like, huh? What do you mean? You heard the article of Endeavor's first son died by his own flames, and it's actually is blue, and you they, you don't see his body because it's only have a missing of his jawbone. Yeah, what if I told you that Dobby? is Toya Todoroki, the son of Endeavor. And this is shocked and horrified that Hulk's saying he's joking, but the looks on Genzo's face, he is dead ass serious. And Hulk wants to tell Endeavor about this, but Genzo be like, no, don't. If you do, he will not believe it. And let's be honest, he will snap. So it's better off let him to find out for himself. Hulk wants to uh, arguing on that, but he knows his rights. Plus, Hung and plus Genzo has to go and visit to Todoroki's house because he was invited to go to have a dinner with with his other family, with Endeavor, Shoto, Furumi, Natsu, and along with Bakugo and Deku. So, so this is gonna be the first time that Genzo actually, you know, go inside. The, uh, Shoto's house and also meets um uh, meets uh Natsu and Fulami in person because this is the first time they never actually met. So yeah. Uh give me guys one second. Okay, sorry about that. My throat was kinda of a little bit dry. So yeah, but back to the story. So while whatever happened between uh, the reunion where Dobby, not Dobby, poof, Deku and Bakugo meets Fudumi and Natsu just like the original. And when the dinner, when it, when everyone got here on time, Genzo came like five, like five minutes late. Like not five minutes late, like just like three minutes late. He knocks on the door and, and everyone's wondering like, who is here on the side? And Shota's like, it's probably him. And him who? So Endeavor opens the door and let him in and he says, 
Hey, Ryu. And Ginzo will be like, Hey, Uncle. Sorry if I'm late or anything. So, you guys already already at the table? Yep. So, Endeavor leads Ginzo to the kitchen, and Fudumi asks, Who is that, Pop? And, and Endeavor said, Meet your oldest cousin. And this caught both Fudumi and Nasu off guard. Like, wait, Otis, what? And they re and he show Genzo comes in and in and, uh, the table with the others says, "Hey guys, uh, I'm here. Sorry I was late." And Shoto will be like, "No worries, man." And and Fudumi and Nasu will be like, wait, you knew and you didn't say nothing? Like I thought I already told y'all. Remember? I told you you guys had an oldest cousin named Ryu Ginzo. And they realize like, ah oh, shit, that's right. We honestly forgot about it because they were so busy with everything. They honestly forgot they had a cousin. And not only that, this is their first time they actually meet him in person. And they were like, and this is the first time that Ginzo actually met his cousins. And he does their name. So Ginzo's like, hey guys I guess you're Natsu and Fudumi and not Fudumi is like yeah th that's right I I'm so glad to meet you Ryu I, I I heard a lot of things about you and and other things and not uh, Ryu is like yeah I get that <laughs> but I'm glad to get to see both of y'all I'm actually was excited to meet y'all actually so I guess you guys was waiting for me, or you guys already started eating. And they were like, we were waiting for you. <laughs> and I was like, so and Ginzo was like, sorry. So they go down to eating, and and of course, Ginzo, since Ginzo is there at the dinner table, he could tell when Natsu actually left the table. And Ginzo realized that, like, yeah, this ain't gonna go well. So the conversation between Shoto after the dinner, both Natsu and Endeavor heard the conversation between Shoto and Fudumi. Instead of just them two talking alone, Ryo is actually there, and Fudumi actually apologized to her cousin about all that, and Ginzo said, "You don't have to worry about that, cuz I." I understand what he's going through, honestly, and I could tell it's not that hard. And I was told that you try your best to bring everyone, the family, back together again. And I'll support you on that, whatever I can. And Fudumi is like, "Thank you, but you don't have to do that." But and gives like, "I want to. Y'all, my family, aren't y'all? Family gotta look out for each other." And Fudumi just came up a smile and just by the tear of and she hugs her cousin. She said, thank you. Thank you. And of course the speech with um, where the conversation between Shoto, that goes out the same right after, right before um, Fudumi and Ginzo have their chat after uh, Shoto have their speak. And Ginzo goes on out and they're asking him and where are you going? He said he needs to talk with someone and this person needs to talk. So the person he goes to is, well, Natsu. So Ginzo sees Natsu about to leave. So Ginzo goes to Natsu and said, where are you going? Where are you going, Natsu? And Natsu turns around and sees Ryo, not Ryo, Ryu, and he's Natsu tells her that he's going over his friend's play because he just cannot be around. Which Ginzo understand and that's that she is really good healthy, but he wants to have a word with him before he leaves. So Natsu just sighed and said, Alright, what do you want to talk about? And Ginzo's like, Look, I understand that you're in pain and that you do not want to forgive your old man. But that's not what your father wants. And Re Natsu's like, what do you mean? What do you mean he doesn't want my forgiveness? So he's just gonna go back straight up being an asshole or some shit? And, Re and, Re and Genzo's like, no, that's not it. 
you can tell he's trying his best to redeem himself, but he cannot. But he cannot forgive himself for things he has done in the past. That's is going to be his biggest regret for the rest of his life. He doesn't want your forgiveness. All he wants is another chance to be a father that you want him to be. If you don't give him another chance or give him a forgiveness, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. If he ends up dead and you never give him a chance or forgiveness, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Look, and your father is an asshole, yes, but at least your brother is trying. And I understand that you are mad what he did because of life, of Toy, of, Toto, of your older brother, my, or my oldest cousin, Toya. I know what happened to him, okay? And it was horrifying. And, and Funami told me that you and him were very, very close. Look, I wish I could know him, but Sally, I don't. But you, your sister is doing her best she can to get everyone back. And you're just not there for her and support her or anything like that. I just, that's just messed up, man. You need to be there for your sister. She cannot do this on her own. She's trying her best. And you're just gonna let her do all the work? No. You need to start helping out your sister one way or the other and like I said before think about that if you don't give your father another chance or forgiveness you're gonna hate yourself for the rest of your life and that's gonna be haunt to you forever and you need to learn to let the past go yes the death of your older brother is hurt but you cannot hold the past forever you're just you're blinded with anger hatred and grief on your father and the loss of your brother. If you keep holding that burden, you're just gonna stuck in the past and be a broken man in the shadow of your former self. So think that, all right? So Genzo actually walks away and head back inside and Nasu does get captured just like the original and, and before we move on to that, Genzo, as you see Endeavor praying for, you know, Todoroki, not Todoroki, Toya. And Genzo goes up to him and just sides that he wants to tell Endeavor, but he just can't. As much as he really wants to. But, yeah, he doesn't want to say it. So, he goes to Endeavor. Without a word, he joins with Endeavor just praying right, right next to him to pray for Toya. And Endeavor asks, "What are you? Why are you here?" And Endeavor and Genzo, it's like, "What? I can join join with my uncle and pray for the loss of my cousin." And Endeavor has nothing to say. He said, "Very well." And Genzo looks up and they see the picture of Toya, and he says, "So that's what he looks like before he died." And Endeavor said, "Yes." And and Genzo is like, "I see." I'm sorry of your loss of Toya. I wish I would I wish I was I wish I know him. But Sally, I don't. So Buck De Endeavor and Genzo had like an uncle and nephew moment to pray for the son and the cousin of Toya. So yeah. After that, Genzo does tag along with Dobby with that uh, Dobby. Endeavor Deku, um, uh, Todoroki, and, and Bakugo because they plan to drop them all back to, uh, the UA since it's their last day. And Genzo does have Himiko's number, so then to stay in contact. Same goes for Hawks, because Hawks will give Genzo the intel about this secretly. So, yeah. And yeah, and of course, Himiko did ask Hawks about, you know, where is Ginzo or something like that. And Hawks tells her that he has to go back to school, so so I could give you his number. So that's how Himiko got Ginzo's number. So, yeah. And keep this in mind, Ginzo is just pretending as a villain. So, yeah. 
not only that, it will be interesting. Sugar is like, you know what, tell, tell Kenzo that since he's going to be part of our team, he could be our double spy. He could be our spy on the hero to get all the intel from the hero and give us the intel from the heroes. And Hogs in his bag of his head is like, just like, oh, crap. Yeah, bringing him was a bad idea. So, yeah. Genzo, like, oh, crap, this is bad. Really fucking bad. So, yeah. And, of course, um, the incident where the same villain that Endeavor came across. Yeah, that goes out the same where, you know, using Endeavor's son as a bait. And that does, kind of goes out the same. Endeavor just froze it, and that villain wants Endeavor to kill him, kill him, kill him, but couldn't. So, of course, Deku did save a lot of people. Um, um, Bakugo and Todoroki saved Natsu. And Endeavor just stand there and froze. Genzo, I mean, not, Genzo like, Endeavor, what the fuck? Ugh. So, after rescuing, um, uh, Natsu... Genzo actually beat the villain and grabbed him by grabbing the shirt and he cr he was he's crying that he wanted Endeavor to kill him, kill him and kill him. And Genzo's like, if you want to die so bad, I can give you the death that you want. Endeavor's not the person I want to get his blood in his hands. But I will. If you want to die so bad, say the word, I will cavi your head. And Gen and the villain's like you're, you're him. You're the son of one for all. The Prince of Darkness. Yes. Please kill me, please. Let us show that you are a villain. I am not a villain. I'm an anti-hero. I take no bullshit for an answer. And don't not say that I'm a Prince of Darkness. I am not. And all for one is not my father. So Genzo just kill the villain with his um, shadow katana blade, killing the man instantly. And the man, the villain's like, finally, the nightmare is over. Killing, and the man died. And everyone, the civilian, are just shocked and horror that he just killed that villain, which they know who the fuck Ryu Genzo is. And of course, they take no bullshit. Some of them just said that glad he's dead, and some of them just shock and horror about it. And it was over in the news. So, yeah. Genzo does it get scold on this, because why the hell not? So, and of course, both Genzo, Deku, Tokuyami, Bakugo, and Todoroki, they do go back to Yurei, and yeah, what happened between them two? They just doing their normal things, and Genzo does get information from Hawks, and get a little bit of text here and there from Toga, and he's trying to hide it from Jiro because he cannot tell about the mission, especially talking about talking with Toga. So, yeah, he has to do that privately of the mission. So, yeah. And whatever happened between the League of Villains, like three, four, two months ago, how did Shigaraki feels? Shigaraki is even more pissed than his other counterparts. And uh, ha, ha, ha. and uh, and yeah, that that's what's going on. And Himiko, two months ago, she wants to get payback on Genzo the most out of everyone. Even though she has a thing for Deku Araka, but somehow she has a strange feeling that she has a feeling for Genzo, but at the same time she wants to kill him. So yeah, whatever happens between the League of Villains, that goes out the same. Nothing has changed. So pretty much that's where Season 5 ends until we get the third movie. So yeah guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, links to my social media, my Discord server, my GoFundMe page, all that will be down below the description box. You guys know what's with all that shenanigans. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. New before, shout out to I'll see you guys later.